Hello, welcome to another video where you can learn some Finnish. Olen Jaakko Paakkanen, olen suomalainen. Olen iloinen, että löysit tämän videon. Nen is one of the most common syllables in the end of the Finnish word. It can have different meanings in different contexts. There are at least four different endings. Nen, inen, lainen and mainen. And even these can have different meanings. One tricky thing about this nen ending is that it turns into an s in different forms of the word. And that's why they can be mixed up with some words ending in an s in the basic form. So let's dive into this tricky subject and look into all the nens in the Finnish language. Often nen means something small. It can be a diminutive, like kukka is a flower, but kukkanen is a small flower. Also, kirja, kirjanen. Some insects and small birds have the ending nen in the name of the species itself. Muurahainen, ampiainen, mehiläinen. Note the change of the vowel because of vowel harmony. Kottarainen, talitiainen, urpiainen. Some animals have nen even if they are not small, like hevonen. Why? I don't know. There is also the form hepo, where the hevonen comes from. But that's not used so much, only in virta hepo. Nen can also be used to make numerals into nouns. So yksi, kaksi, kolme, they are numerals, but ykkönen, Kakkonen, kolmonen. They are nouns. Number one, number two, number three. Also, for example, satanen, which usually refers to a hundred euro note. The ending inen is used to create an adjective out of a noun. So, for example, lika, likainen. Ilo, iloinen, metsä, metsäinen. Most colors are created with inen ending. So puna means redness or the color red, while punainen is red as an adjective. Also sini, sininen. The ending lainen or lainen usually refers to a place where someone is coming from. So, minä olen suomalainen. Also, englantilainen, ruotsalainen, ranskalainen, and so on. It can also be used of uh, smaller places. Helsinkilainen, pieksämäkeläinen. Raumalainen. We have also the words kaupunkilainen and maalainen. Many place names end in la, so we can have two las in a row in names like nakkilalainen, hollolalainen. Many last names like mine, Paakkanen, has nen in the end. It doesn't mean anything special. It probably refers to the place where the family is originally from, in most cases. So we have Mäkinen, Julkunen, Rautiainen, and so on. The ending Mainen or Mäinen refers usually to resemblance. So for example, we have the word Kissa, a cat, and Kissa Mainen which means someone or something that looks like, act, acts like or resembles a cat. Similarly, koiramainen. This ending can also be used with proper names. For example, elvismainen is someone who looks like, acts like or resembles Elvis. So, 
if your friend looks like me or resembles me in somehow, you can call him Jaakkomainen. The word mainen in itself means earthly from the word maa. There we have the inen ending that he talked about earlier. But then there is this tricky thing, right? Nen turns into an S in different forms. For example, annoin paakkaselle kukkasen. There we have the words paakkanen and kukkanen, but they are in different cases where the nen ending before the case ending turns into an S. It would be difficult to pronounce so it's easier to say pakkaselle. Sometimes nen turning into s can be confused with an s in the end of the basic form of the word. For example, we have the two words karvainen and karvas. Consequently, we have the words karvaista and karvasta. And while in spoken language the E is often not pronounced, these two words can easily be mixed up. Then also turns into an S when we have a compound word. For example, suomalais lapsi. Or even loiseläjä. Loinen is a tricky one because it's such a short word. Even that turns into lois. Sometimes there just happens to be nen in the end of the word because of the case ending n. For example, kansi, kannen, mennen, tullen. This was just the tip of the iceberg. Olen raaputtanut pienen palasen jäävuoren huippua. Thanks for watching. Kiitos kun katsoit.